What's going on guys? Matthew Minnis here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss one of my favorite topics, and that's credit card. Now, more specifically, we're going to do a comparison between two of the most popular 2% cashback credit cards, the Wells Fargo Active Cash credit card and the Citi Double Cash credit card. And it's interesting because I feel like I've come to a different opinion than most of the people on YouTube when it comes to this comparison. So in this video, I'll go over the pros and cons of each one. I'll tell you which one I prefer and which one I currently have. But at the end of the day, it's gonna be up to you guys to decide which one's the best for you and your family if you wanna go in this direction. Now the great thing about credit cards is that they are a financial tool to help your money go further. And if you work hard for your money and you wanna make it go further, make sure you smash the like button down below, subscribe to the channel. We do weekly content on anything related to personal finance or fitness. So let's get into the video. So first things first, who would benefit from one of these credit cards? These credit cards are best for someone that does not want to worry about churning multiple credit cards. They don't want to worry about bonus categories or traveling to travel partners, although that is a benefit that one of them has. These credit cards are best used by someone that wants to use one credit card for all of their purchases and then have a very easy, user-friendly cashback redemption process. And when it comes to accomplishing that, both of these cards are fantastic options. But if we go a little bit further, we do need to discuss the subtle differences between the two. The first big difference is gonna be how you earn that 2% cashback. So with both cards, you're gonna get 2% on everything you buy. So if you spend $2,000 a month or $24,000 a year, you're gonna end up with $480 left at the end of the year in cashback rewards. Now you have access to the rewards monthly, so you can use them on a monthly basis, but at the end of the year, you're getting almost $500 cashback, which is fantastic. But when it comes to this cashback, the clear winner is gonna be the Wells Fargo Active Cash, and that is because it is just easier. When you buy the product, when your statement comes, you're gonna get that 2% cashback. With the City Double Cash, you're only gonna get 1% for the purchase, and then upon paying for that purchase, you're going to get the next 1%. So in the end, it's the exact same. And if you follow the golden rule of credit, which is always paying your balance in full every month, then really there's no differences. But if you have to pick one or the other, why not just go with the simpler one? Now, the next thing we're gonna talk about is the annual fee. For both of these cards, there are no annual fees, which is awesome. Now, with every pro, there's usually a con, and what I find with a lot of no annual fee cards, not all of them, but some of them, is that when it comes to international spending, there are gonna be foreign transaction fees. So both of these cards suffer when it comes to spending internationally. So you wanna make sure you're using these cards within the US, otherwise there are better options available. But now we need to talk about what makes the Wells Fargo so much better. And that is because at all times, they're offering a $200 signup bonus when you spend $1,000 within the first three months. I've said it before in my other videos, if a credit card does not offer a signup bonus, I'm not going to sign up for it. So right now, City Double Cash does not have a signup bonus. So I will never sign up to that unless they change that. Now recently, they did do a limited time promotion where if you spent $1,500, you'd get the $200 cash back and it was within six months, so it was very, very similar, but it's not offered all the time. So if you're gonna get 2% on all your purchases, but you're not going to get a signup bonus, then hands down, you, you gotta go with the active cash because $200 for free is $200 for free, and I want that free money. Now, another big difference when it comes to these cards, Wells Fargo is a Visa credit card, and the City Double Cash is a MasterCard. Now, typically, these are gonna be accepted at almost all places, but there is one big downfall. If you go to a place like Costco, you can't use a MasterCard, which is crazy, but you can only use your Visa at a Costco. So if you go to the warehouse shopping, and I'm someone, my family, takes advantage of Costco all the time, we have to use our Wells Fargo Active Cash for that exact instance. So in general, you're gonna find that Visa is accepted at more locations than MasterCard, even though in general, most places will accept both. It's not like Amex where you're gonna come across this issue a lot. Now there are other subtle differences too, and this is in terms of the other offerings that we don't so much talk about. One of the big ones that Wells Fargo offers, that once again, Citi does not offer, is an insurance policy for your mobile phone. If you have a Wells Fargo card and you're paying your bill with your Wells Fargo card, then you can take advantage of if it is lost or stolen or damaged, you have up to a $600 credit two times per year with the $25 deductible insurance policy. So basically you don't need to pay for a separate phone insurance if you're using your current credit card when you have the Wells Fargo Active Cash. And once again, the city does not offer that. Now it may seem like I'm biased towards the Wells Fargo Active Cash, but 
just off this video alone, I've only said pros for the active cash and cons for the city double cash when in comparison. But there is something that the city double cash is better for. The city rewards program in general, I find, and a lot of people I know find to be better than Wells Fargo's redemption process. And the reason is, is you get thank you points with city and you can actually transfer your points amongst the cards to one of their better cards that offers a significant amount of travel partners. And if you're well versed in credit cards, you know that when you can transfer to travel partners at a one to one ratio, you can make your points go a lot further. I talk a lot about the Chase Trifecta on my channel. The city thank you points are similar. I don't know as much about them because I don't actually have them, but you can do that with other credit cards. However, one thing to note with the city double cash is that the thank you points can only be transferred to JetBlue unless you have one of those other premium credit cards in the city offering. So if you can't tell already, I actually have a Wells Fargo Active Cash. My father has one, my brother-in-law has one, and we all agree that it is a fantastic credit card for every family to have. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you only wanna have one card that's easy to use and just basic cash back, then I think the Wells Fargo is a great option. I also think the city is a great option as well if you can get a sign up bonus, but you've got to keep your eye out for it. I'll be honest, when that limited time offer comes up sometime in 2023, if it does, then I'll probably get it as well. I won't use it very much, but I'm someone that always takes advantage of sign up bonuses when it comes to churning credit cards. And a quick note, that does not harm your credit. You just need to be mindful of what affects your credit score. You may lose a couple points here or there, but then you'll gain them back. And at the end of the day, it's not a big deal. I maintain an 800 credit score with over 20 credit cards that I manage. But that's not for everybody. And that's why I made this video for someone that only wants to have one card. So I wanna know from you guys, what do you guys think is the better card? I know a lot of YouTubers I watched actually chose the City Double Cash over the Wells Fargo, which is interesting. So let me know in the comments down below. I do my best to respond to every single comment on all my videos, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Take care.